Hi, this is JP from Know the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough video of the Lord of the Rings uh, LCG. And we are playing the course and scenarios. This time we are playing the journey along the Anduin scenario, which is the second scenario in the box. We are using a deck uh, only using cards from the revised core set and uh, I won't go into detail of the deck list but I will add the link to the deck list into the video description if you're interested. This is the same deck I used through the first scenario in my previous video so uh, if you want a more detailed overview of the deck check that video out or uh, check the link and there is a really good description on how to use this deck in the uh, link. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start playing. So uh, in this scenario we are traveling through the Anduin and trying to reach the end without getting defeated. I already played this scenario off camera once to get myself familiarized with the scenario and managed to beat the scenario in that uh, te test play but we'll see how this goes because it is uh, quite swingy uh, so to speak so we'll see how this goes but if I won't make it then I won't and that is that but it is doable with this deck. So. Uh, let's start by the setup. So, to the river. Uh, emerging from Merkwood Forest with an urgent message to Lady Galadriel, you must now make your way south along the Anduin River in order to reach the forest of Lorien. As you leave the forest behind, you notice that you are being pursued and thus quicken your pace. Setup. Each player reveals one card from the top of the encounter deck and adds it to the staging area. We'll do that, and on top of that, uh, we get uh, this uh, reveal effect. So, uh, re when revealed, search the encounter deck for one hill thrall if one is not already in play, and place it in the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck, and players cannot defeat this stage while any hill thrall cards are in play. And the story text is as you approach the location of a small raft stashed on the river bank. A fearsome tro uh, hill troll emerges from behind a, group, uh, a grouping of rocks and attacks. And we need to get 8 progress to advance this. So first off we had to reveal one card and it is uh, Eastern Crows. So a pretty easy one. Then we'll search for the... Well, the hill troll was already there so we'll just shuffle. Let's see. So the hill troll is a beast, we really need to build up our attack power to be able to defeat this and I hope to get uh, either Gandalf or Beorn into play somehow to manage this beast. So we'll see how that goes. So the hill troll is a really tough enemy, hits for 6 and has a defense of 3 and 9 hit points so we need to really have attack power to defeat this one but when we defeat it it's a victory enemy so it doesn't go into the encounter discard pile so we won't be seeing it again and excess combat damage dealt by hill troll damage that is dealt beyond the remaining hit points of the character damaged by its attack must be assigned as an increase to your threat now we start with the 27 threat as usual so we have a couple of turns before we have to deal with those enemies but of course uh, we want to get rid of some of them uh, as soon as possible to lower the threat so we can get some progress going let's get our starting hand of six cards so uh, we get the northern tracker unexpected courage self-preservation Cleovine. Erban Hammersmith and Forest Snare. And I actually think I will mulligan this because we really want to see at least one Gandalf to help us deal with the troll as soon as possible. So let's see if we get lucky. So quick shuffle and we draw a new hand. 
sorry for bumping the camera, but <laughs> it is what it is sometimes. So we get the Galadrim's greetings, Cleowine, Steward of Gondor, Snowborn Scout, uh, Stand and Fight, and Son of Arnor. So not the optimal starting hand, but let's see if we manage to draw into uh, Gandalf, for example. So we start our uh, first turn, resource phase, we add resources, we draw a card, uh, forest nair, so that, this actually could help us attach to an enemy engaged with a player, attach the enemy cannot attack, so we can uh, snare the troll when we need to and try to uh, defeat it somehow. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do in the planning phase. Uh, we really don't have a lot of resources yet. Um, I would really want to get uh, Stuart of Gondor in play as fast as possible. So we probably will just uh, get rid of the pros first and we really don't want to play anything else. Okay, so I am. Uh, there are no locations, so we don't want to play the Snowboard Scout yet. Um, Son of Arnor, we might want to play soon. The Son of Arnor enters play, choose an enemy card in the staging area or currently engaged with another player, engage with the enemy. So that's not that useful. Okay, well, uh, let's just uh, skip the planning phase and not play anything. Uh, then uh, we go to the quest phase and we commit characters, so I'm committing El uh, Elwin. I think... Um, I'm discarding this to boost, so we are 5, then we'll commit um, that, so we get to add one. Somewhere, I think I'm adding it on Theodred. Then, um, I think that's all we want to do. So, uh, we'll go to the. Uh, we resolve the questing phase, so we are at 2 against uh, 5 6. So, we get an encounter card, and it is Wolf Rider, which will search. So we get Wolf Rider and we get another one. Uh, Dolgordur Orc. Uh, when revealed, the first player chooses one character currently from the quest, deal two damage to that character. Well, that started off really bad. So we get a bunch of enemies and two of them will engage us. But that is that. Okay, well. Mm, that is the quest phase, so uh, we are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 against 6, so we progress 1, which is not that good. It is something, but not that good. Um, we'll go to travel phase, not nowhere to travel, encounter phase, optional engagement. Uh, we won't get engage anything, uh, we'll have to take these two, because they have a threat. Um, level of 10, so they will engage us in the engagement checks, which is really bad. And let's see, so one of them uh, hits, I, I won't defend, so one of them hits Elwin, one of them hits uh, Berabor, and I will use Berabor to attack, and I will hit uh, the Wolf Rider, because we can defeat it. Oh yeah, and we get Shadow Cars. Let's not forget about those. So this could really hurt us. So first off, this one, and then this one. Let's see, this one first. Uh, deal X Shadow Cars to this attacker. X is the number of players in the game. So I'll get another Shadow Car. Doesn't do anything. Then this one. Remove one progress token from the current quest. Ok, 
Okay, well that that was not nice. But then we'll defeat this one. This stays in play. And uh, that is the combat phase done. Uh, we go to ready phase. We ready up. This is looking like a short game. Then we add one threat here. And that is that. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add threat. Uh, I mean we add uh, sources first. Then we draw a card. And it is a uh, hasty stroke. Okay. Um, let's see what we can actually do. So uh, planning phase will play the Steward of Gondor. We source the Steward of Gondor. Generate two resources. Actually, would we like to add it to another no. just add here. Then, or, or yeah, should we add the steward to another hero? But we won't. Uh, we'll play. Uh, some of Arnor, maybe. We have three resources uh, for. Yeah, we still don't have any. Anything. Uh, well, we'll play this some of Arnor, and we'll also play. Play uh, wine. Just want some meat to shield us from all of these enemies. And I think that is it. We'll go to the quest phase from the planning phase. We commit uh, Eowyn. And uh, I'll discard this to boost the uh, willpower. And we'll commit Eodred. And uh, we'll add a resource somewhere. We'll add it here. And that is the questing phase, so we'll get an encounter card. It is enchanted stream. Uh, we cannot draw cards, that is annoying. Uh, when when it's an active location, but we will go there. So four against five, we add one progress token here, and uh, then we travel. We'll travel it here. Then we'll go to uh, encounter phase. We won't engage anything. Those won't engage because we are twenty-eight, and they are both thirty. So, uh, let's see, we need these two to defeat this one, so we'll defend with Glaivine, this hits Glaivine, killing it off, oh yeah, we get a shadow card, it doesn't do anything luckily, then we'll hit with these two to defeat this one, and that is the combat phase done. Go to refresh phase. We ready, and we add one threat here. So after the next round, if nothing else happens, those two enemies will engage us. So we need to be ready for those. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We start by adding the resources again. Then we will draw a card. It is another standard fight, so I'm actually thinking of using one of these. Okay. Uh, I think we need to play. Um, we'll use the steward of Condor. Maybe it was a mistake to put it on Theodred. Looking at our cards, but it is what it is, so 
will add two resources here. Oh yeah, and uh, we used one to play Snowborn Scout after Snowborn was done, and this uh, play choose a location we place one focus on it, so this one away. Oh yeah, we don't draw any cards, so one of these doesn't get drawn. Let's back up that much. Then um, we'll uh, we, mm, we don't have that many. Play Cleowine again, but I'm thinking of doing something else. We should really defeat those crows. Okay, so we are questing, uh, we are questing, and we are questing, and I will add. One resource to Fervor. So next we're, uh, turn we have the forest snare for the troll. Uh, and um, oh yeah, we can play before we create the enemy. So that is a problem. Mm, well, it is a problem for future me maybe. So, we are questing with all of those, we, those two will defeat uh, the crows, this is enough, so uh, that is the travel phase, uh, no, not, that is the uh, quest phase, so we will uh, resolve that, so we get an encounter card, another uh, Older orc. Okay. Well, that is a problem. So, four against uh, five, six, seven, three progress. This gets defeated, and we get, let's see, uh, four against two of seven. We'll go to three. Okay, and then we go to travel phase, nowhere to travel, encounter phase, we, this will engage us for sure, and optional engagement will engage this one. Okay, let's see how will we resolve this. Let me think. So, I really don't want to take any more damage on heroes, so I think I will defend, just defend both of these. So this will defend against the crows, and this will defend against the orcs. So uh, the Dunedain of Arnor will get defeated and this has the defense so it won't get defeated we don't have any any um, attack power so that sucks so I think I will play as an action oh yeah um, as an action I'll play this so it comes into play and uh, I'll do it Let's see, I'll just double check the uh, action window. So I have an action window and the player attack resolution. So range option action window determine attack strength. So I'll play it before determine attack strength. So I get to attack. Oh yeah, this engages, but it won't attack because we're past that window. And then uh, we will defeat these crows by dealing two damage this and that is that um, we are past the combat phase repress phase we press everything and that is that so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we will add resources and we draw a card 
card and it is now the standard fight again okay uh, stating phase uh, or planning phase I mean we'll add resources with the steward of Gondor then uh, I'll use three resources to play the forest snare attach to an enemy engaged with a player attach enemy cannot attack so troll can't attack which will be a lifesaver for this we can ignore it for now oh yeah and we forgot to uh, add one threat here at the last end of the last refresh phase uh, that is all we won't we'll save that for a bigger ally for later so uh, we will go to planning phase so Erwin will um, will save everything else for attacking and defending so yeah we are uh, four against zero get an encounter card and we get the banks of Anduin Force if banks of Anduin leaves play returning to the top of the encounter deck so it is a three so we'll add progress one then we'll travel here travel phase then uh, we go to encounter phase um, but yeah I think I forgot to reveal shadow cards I'll just check the last round shadow cards so first one was nothing second one was shadow attacking enemy gets plus one so this was for the one that defeated uh, the one of Arnor so that is okay. Uh, okay. So encounter phase, uh, not no engagements. Combat phase. The troll can't attack, so we just ignore it for now. But we'll have to defend against this one. And I will defend with this. So. Uh, we get a shadow card nothing happens this is defeated then we need to deal three damage so these two are plenty and this is defeated and then we will go to refresh phase so refresh everything and uh, we will advance the threat by one and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are half away from defeating the first quest act, but we still need to defeat the troll before we can advance. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we'll add some resources. I'm actually changing this to a three. And uh, we draw one card. It is the Celebrian Stone. Attached to a hero, restricted. Attached to hero gains plus two. We'll, we'll, use, uh, we'll use the Steward of Gondor and play it with those resources. And I'll place it on Eowyn. That is uh, everything we want to do at this point. We probably will just try to find. Well, we'll just try to. Uh, chisel down the troll with what we got so Elwin will uh, quest in the questing phase uh, we are six versus zero on the far east uh, Gladden fields uh, while Gladden fields is the active location each player must raise their threat by an additional point to rest phase okay so uh, that is a tree, so six was so we defeat this, so it goes on top of the counter deck. We don't advance that. Uh, encounter phase. Oh yeah, travel phase. We will travel over here, so we have to add an extra threat. I'm just checking if we have we haven't completed that. That, that is just so that we uh, get the victory cards out of the deck. 
So, uh, this enemy cannot attack. So, I will go undefended against it. it I think it still gets an uh, shadow card. So, uh, nothing happens. Then, I will attack with all of these. And it is uh, 6 versus... Uh, defense of 3, so we deal 3 damage, so we still need to deal 6 damage. We go to refresh phase. And... That is it. And now we have to advance this by 2. So we are at 33. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add resources. Card, hopefully something good. Well, hasty stroke. We can at, at least cancel a shadow effect with that, but uh, we are, are questing with Eowyn, not discarding anything, so 6 versus 0, encounter card is, and we are not playing anything. Uh, and we'll add resources with that before we forget. Actually changing this to a 5, this to a 3, okay, so 6 versus 0, when revealed, remove 4 progress tokens from a current quest card, if there are fewer than 4 progress tokens from the quest, remove all progress tokens from the quest, but I am thinking of playing uh, it's not a shadow card, and we don't have the ignore this card, so there goes our progress. That is a shame, but uh, we are 6 versus 0, so we add 6. Uh, we'll defeat this. Actually... Oh yeah, uh, we shouldn't have gotten this, we should have gotten this. So, we actually uh, misplayed there a bit. So, uh, because that returned on the top of the deck, uh, it gets revealed. That's 3, so we're 3 versus 3, so we had 4 here, we add 3 here, then we travel here. And... Uh, now it should be correct. But, uh, yeah, this got defeated, so... That should be correct now. Sorry for the misplays. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll go to the encounter phase. Uh, no optional engagement. Uh, that troll can't attack yet, uh, so... We take it undefended, it doesn't attack. We'll uh, chip away and deal 3 more damage. So, 3 more damage to defeat the troll. And that is that combat phase. We'll ready up. Oh, yeah, it gets a shadow card. No, uh, defending her doesn't count. It's, well, it doesn't matter. Now we're ready. A bit of <laughs> fumbling here, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, we could cancel the shadow effect, but it doesn't matter. So uh, we'll add one threat here, so 34. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add more resources. We get a card. That is, it is ever vigilant, so choose already one ally card. Nothing useful. We are getting all the events, none of the allies we need. So again, we are questing 6 versus 0. And uh, counter card is. Oh, yeah, we'll again add 2 with the Steward of Gondor here. Once we get some big allies, we have plenty of resources on Theodred, so encounter for these. Goblin Sniper, okay. We 
can't engage this while there are other options and it is 48 so it will be a late late enemy to engage you don't want to engage it soon so uh, we are uh, questing for we, we progress with four so this goes back here and we have one here and uh, I think we want to defeat the troll next turn we want to defeat the goblin sniper if we don't get any other enemies and then that will be that so these all attack the this one but first we get this so nothing happens for the shadow card then the troll is defeated and it is a victory point enemy so it is discarded and uh, nowhere to travel so we go to the refresh phase be ready And we add one threat here, 35. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add more resources. Um, and we get a card. It is a snowboard scout. Again, not useful at the moment. Well, we'll play just to defend against the Goblin. So, I am using Steward of Gondor, so we get one more resource here and just one to play this. Then, uh, we will quest with Eowyn and quest with Breavor. And uh, I think that is it, so we'll go to the encounter phase. So we get the Goldur, Dol Guldur's Beastmaster. Um, it will engage us, so we have to engage it first. But we want to kill the sniper, okay. Well, uh, we'll go to engagement, so we'll engage this. Then we'll engage this and uh, defend with these guys. And uh, that red will attack and defeat this one, but we'll do that after the shadow card. So this gets two shadow cards, this gets one, this first, so nothing, nothing. And remove one progress token from the current quest. Oh yeah, uh, we forgot to check the questing. Well, we were up by two, so we'll add two here. Four, uh, six against four, so we are nearly done with this. One more. Okay, so now this gets defeated. This gets defeated, but uh, there this one. This stays in play. And. Uh, is a big one, but hopefully we draw into something useful. So uh, we'll go to refresh phase, ready up everything, add contracts here, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. Get. Uh, Miner of Iron Hills. After Miner of Iron Hills is to play, choose and discard one condition and that's to play. Okay. I will actually exhaust uh, Breavor as an action uh, and draw two cards. We really need to get some big allies, so draw, draw two cards. Okay, we get Guard of the Stadel and the Wharf and Wound. Okay. We will uh, use Wharf and Tomb to get this back into our hand. We will play both of these. 
then we will pay this. Get more allies to resolve with this one. And uh, I think that is it uh, for the planning phase. We will quest. Uh, we are 6 versus 0. We get an encounter card. It is uh, Banks of Anduin. Again, and we are six versus three. So we will in this quest stage. And doing passage. After defeating the troll, you are able to board the raft and embark upon river upon a river voyage. As you depart, your enemies pursue, harassing the small vessel as you attempt to navigate the river. Uh, as your enemies harass the raft, it is difficult to maintain balance and effectively fight them off. Reveal one additional card from the encounter deck each quest phase. Do not make engagement checks during the encounter phase. Each player may still optionally engage one enemy each encounter phase. And it, it, we need 16 progress here. So now we'll travel over here in the travel phase. Then uh, that enemy is already engaged with us, so we need to deal with that. So I will take it with minor uh, iron heals, and I will uh, that one, so it gets one extra shadow card. No shadow effect. Remove one progress token. Turn quest if able. On. Okay, and uh, oh yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it has a defense of one, so I will. Uh, it hits for three, defense of one, so this is unfortunately defeated. Then I will. Uh, I will really want to defeat that this turn. So I will I will really want to play that back, so we'll do that. We use two from here, play this, play it back. And then we will attack with all of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, against one, so five, this is defeated. And uh, that is that, so we're ready up. Uh, we add one here, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add some resources. We get a card, it is Silver Load Archer. We'll use Paravor again to draw some cards. Uh, Self-preservation. Card of the Citadel. I will play Self-preservation in the planning phase onto Paravor. And I will use... I will use it to heal. Actually... I think uh, uh, Elvin is more important, so I'll play it on her, so we we'll heal, so we don't get to, uh, so Elvin won't get defeated by random damage to an exhaust character. Then I will uh, use the Skirt of Gondor to play another of these cards, just piling them on because tight on space. And that is uh, the planning phase, so we'll go to questing phase. We are questing uh, with all of these. I'll add one resource here. Okay, and we are uh, one, two, three, six, nine, 
11 versus 0. The East fights uh, Wasteland uh, 6. When faced with the option travel, the players must travel to the East to fight if there is no other location. Okay. So, uh, it is uh, one threat location. So 11 versus 1, we will defeat this one and add 7 to this one. Then we will travel here. And that is uh, everything. No enemies will skip combat and encounter phase. We go to refresh phase. Ready. Then we add one threat here. So 38. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add more, uh, more resources again. We draw a core. It is Protector of Lorien. We'll use Peravor again to draw two cards. We get Gandalf and we get Gleowine. We will uh, play the Archer. I'm using the Sweat of Wonderful. Uh, we really want to play Gandalf. Not good. You to reduce our threat by five. Got three cards. I'm actually playing Gandalf. We really want to cycle our deck, so I'm playing Gandalf. We draw three cards. Get a Snowborn Scout, Erebor Hammersmith, and Grim Resolve ready all characters cards in play, so that is quite good. Okay, uh, then we want to play Snowborn Scout. I'm putting these into <laughs> columns here. So uh, we put one progress token there. Okay, uh, I'll play this. We uh, put the topmost attachment. It is um, the forest snare. Then I will uh, quest with everything I can quest. And adding one resource that's right here. Okay, uh, let's see then. Get one, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, and then count the cardies. Uh, Banks of the Anduin, and it is three, so. Is enough, I think. Yeah, 12, 12. So we managed to defeat this. Oh, yeah, and we have to read. Uh, okay. Forgetting that we had this in play last turn, so. From last turn, so also they, they should have come up. So we'll take another encounter card this turn also, and we get the works. Okay, but we'll advance this one. I have screwed up the game, but it is what it is. So much new stuff. So ambushed. On the shore, the ongoing harassment from your enemies. Yeah, this is also defeated. Five, no, uh, okay, so we didn't advance yet. Okay, 
so let's actually count again so this to five this a five so we were at 16 I think so we will uh, this had uh, seven oh dear math is hard so so we add on like this but we still didn't advance it we still need still need some we're at 11 uh, 12 so we need four more next turn i am actually thinking of defeating the sparks so Either way, we'll travel here. Then uh, we will play Green Resolve. Oh, we'll save that for next turn. We will uh, play this Ready Gandalf. Uh, we'll engage this one. We have the option. Then uh, we will defend with this guy. We'll get defeated. We get a shadow card. Nothing happens to the shadow face. Uh, Gandalf uh, will defeat it. And then Gandalf goes away at the end of the round. And we re uh, ready everything. And uh, next turn, hopefully, we can advance and end the game. I think that is correct. Well, I think, yeah, now we add one threat here, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. I'll use the Sword of Condor immediately. Get. And we get a card Protector of Lorien. We we'll play. Uh, we'll use Reavor to get two cards. We get Faramir. We play Faramir. We want to play Faramir. We want to use the Grim Resolve, probably. Which is better? We skip playing Faramir. Instead, we will play uh, Blair Wine and uh, we'll actually draw a card with Blair Wine and we'll play Northern Tracker. Uh, after not the trucker commits to a quest, there is one progress token to each location in the stage. Okay. Now we draw two cards. Okay. We get uh, gladden fields, and when we reach each location in the stage, yeah, get the plus one. Days. Each player with the threat of a well, higher truth and discard one card from their hand. I'll discard one. Oh, yeah, uh, questing before that one. So, okay. uh, questing. Questing, 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 questing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no, eleven, twelve against three, so four. So now we uh, defeat this one. So that's three, so we are able to advance this, so that is okay. Now, let's see. Ambush on the shore, 
The ongoing harassment from your enemies has forced you to raft to the shore, and you must now confront their ambush head on. If you survive this attack, the path of golden woods would, should be open before you. Uh, so, when revealed to reel two, encounter cards per player and add them to the stage in your room. Skip the stage in the step of the quest phase for the remainder of the game. Once there are no enemies in play, the players upon the game. So, we'll travel over here. And we draw two cards, we get one enemy. And this location. So, we are definitely playing uh, Grim Resolve. Ready. Everything. And we are uh, engaging this enemy, defending it, for example, this, uh, well, this guy, then we'll just attack with everything we got, shadow card is, uh, attack, enemy gets plus something, well, this is defeated, but we'll easily defeat this enemy, and that is everything, uh, no enemies in the staging area or in gates, so we have won the scenario. So this was the journey around the Anduin scenario, and uh, it was a bit of a hassle. We might have made some mistakes along the way, but mostly uh, this was the outcome of my first try of this scenario, and I think it went pretty well. This the, the second round. Uh, our, uh, play around so hope you guys uh, got a good impression of how this scenario functions thanks for watching and until next time